Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we're taking a look at Joe Cables. It's a geometry node cable creator, and this is made available by MND. So, if you go over to his page, you would notice that he just literally created. Last week, we talked about the fact that he made a free add on, and we also talked about the fact that he made another one this week. And today, we're also getting another one. Actually, it's not even up to two days since we talked about the last one, and he's already making a new one. So, it's pretty impressive. This add on would save you so much time for those who would also love to support him which i would highly recommend you do you can go over to his blender market storefront where you can support him by actually purchasing this for two dollars or you can you know give him whatever you think is worth it for this add-on right here it also makes sense to note that he also has a couple more things on blender market so just in case you know you want to support him you can go ahead and do that now with that said let's dive over and take a look at how this add-on actually works and with Blender simply opened right here, what you need to do to get this add-on working is go over to edit and go over to preference and install. This is a standard add-on that you need to install. Unlike other geometry node sort of add-ons that we've talked about where you have to append some geometry nodes, this you have to install. So if you install that, let's go in and uh, let's actually take a look at how you can manipulate this one. You tap N on the keyboard, go over here and you notice that you have a tools i believe it's amon tools you know amon deep tools and you can get that and next thing you need to do is click on the word create slash edit cables click on the first part click on the next one and that is how easy it is it's a free add-on it works with geometry node crazy stuff then for you to play with the count roll your mouse wheel and you can get that going if you hold down s on the keyboard you can separate this stuff if you want to if you hold down d on the keyboard you can drop it. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll this all the way to one. And once you're ready, you can right click to confirm that. Now, the cool thing about this add-on is despite the fact that you've made all of these changes, you know, contrary to other add-ons where you just make changes and that's what it is, you can go in, go right over to where you have your modifier and you have access to all of the geometry attributes that has been exposed. So in this case, you can go ahead and play with the counts. If you want to have more counts, probably you want to change your decisions of having counts, you can do that. If you like to also play with radius, you can. So you can go over to the cable radius and you can play with radius depending on what you want. Let's switch this to EV and see some goodness. Okay. So I'm just going to go in and make a copy right there. So that's a good light. And so this is also something that is pretty nice. You can have that selection and you can make all the changes you want. If you like to play with the separation, of course you can. You can do all of that. If you like to play with uh, all of the other things that we looked at earlier, let's stretch this all the way out and stretch it right here. So if you like to play with other things as well that we looked at, you can also do all of them from this part. So direction, you can play with a direction, you can play with a separation, you can play with the dripping. So depending on how much you want this to drip, you can also do that. And you can, you know, just go ahead and have fun with it. Now, it also makes sense to note that regardless of the fact that you can create cables, you can also import connectors. So if you have connectors you've made before, you can import these connectors, but if you don't have anyone and you like to use the connectors that comes with this add-on, you can click on add ship connectors and you can see it. So let's go ahead and preview that one. So I'm just gonna zoom right in. And you can see the connector it comes with, and you can also play with the number of connectors that you can get. So in this case, it claims to have two connectors, so you can add as much connectors as you want. And I think this ships with about five different connectors, I guess. So you can take a look at these connectors and you can use them for your stuff. So if we drag this down and just limit the number of connectors we have, I'd like you guys to see this. Now, once we go ahead and increase the number of cables that we have, you would see that all of the cables also have connectors. So we can see them right here. And this is high quality stuff. I mean, look at these bad boys. Look at this pretty you know it's just crazy nice but this is not all that this add-on actually offers let's go in and uh, take a look at something else so i'm just going to go ahead and select all of these and make sure they're closed except for the light of course and yeah for these are the lights so what we're going to do next is to create something so i will just go ahead and create a cone and from this part i will play with the radius of this cone and also play with the other side and drag this all the way up have you seen this magic before where you can have an object selected and you can simply hit object to cables and you have a chandelier and that is how impressive this add-on is. You can simply use this add-on to start creating 
cables from everything. So the same things apply. You have this right here. You can go over to the radius. You can play with the radius if you want. You can go all the way down. You can play with the count. And this is really, really nice. But I have to mention some things you need to keep in mind. If you're thinking about working with this add-on and generating cables from objects. And the trick behind this is this, that you need to know the number of vertices you have. So a good example is with a simple grid. I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the wireframe. You can see how much subdivisions we have. I'm going to crank that down to four and set this to also four and press the enter key. So now we have a four by four. And if I click on objects to cables, you can see that it takes a look at the number of vertices that we have and it uses it. If I also go ahead and just simply select that and turn that off and use something else. So let's also use the plane. Okay. So let's use a simple plane. So if we use a simple plane and I make an object to curves as well, you can also see that for yourself. So in this case, I think this actually makes sense for you to understand how this easily generates these curves. So in case you're thinking about generating curves from objects, please make sure that the number of vertices or the vertices number is something that is sane, else you're going to just have issues trying to get these things to work properly with the sheer amount of cables you'll be creating out of the mesh. But regardless of that, you can now go in and make some changes. If you want to add some connectors, you know, throw in that good old connector and start having fun working with this. But one quick detail that I sort of missed is if you have your objects like so, let's say you've totally generated the entire curves the way you want them, or maybe the cables the way you want them, you can also throw in a corner ring. So with a corner ring, you can put a cap on top of where the object was generated from. So in this case, if you like to play with the height of this, you can do that and you can do so many other things with it. You can also play with the radius of the cap. And this is going to come in very handy, especially for those who like to create multiple cables and would want these cables to sort of have a cap from where the generation of these objects actually started. So in this case, if you have that ready, you can also go in and throw in the connectors as much as you want. And you can use the seed to sort of randomize how these things get placed. So this is more like it. A huge shout out to Amandeep for making this possible. And for those who like to take a look at this, you can simply go over to his Blend Market storefront where you can check out some of the things and support this artist. He has been doing some very amazing stuff. And uh, you can also go ahead and get this for free. So if you want to get it for free, you can go over to his storefront on Gumroad. I'm going to put links to this in the description where you can check out lots and lots of lots of things that this creator has been doing. Lots of amazing things. And for those who like to take a look at this, links to all of that that I just mentioned is in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.